Okay, so let's move into the combination cards. Let's start first with the Two of Cups and the Sun. When you see this together, of course, the Two of Cups is a blossoming friendship or romance. And when it's next to the Sun, you most are assuredly moving into a relationship with a new person. As with the Lovers card, um, when you have it, the, when you have the Sun. It can be a romance or a friendship or some other happy, happy partnership. But when you see it with the lovers, it is most definitely a romantic, uh, new romantic relationship. And here we have the two of swords with the sun. Uh, this can have a couple of meanings. One, if you, you're probably in a relationship and having a moment with your person, but it, the sun really assures that it's temporary and very soon, whatever the conflict is, will be resolved. It also highlights good business ventures, good opportunity. And so let's say you'd been unemployed for a period of time and felt like nothing was working out. If this combination came up and the person you're reading for was like, when am I going to get a job? You'd be able to say very soon probably within a week here is uh, this is a breakup in a relationship Duh, yeah you were in love and now you're <laughs> stabbed to death there you have it okay three of swords ten of swords lovers and if you see the three of swords alone with the lovers or the ten of swords alone with the lovers yeah not good um, the four of cups with the wheel of fortune, this is good. This is useful for timing because it tells us that within about 14 days, 14 days or sooner, the, the question that someone is trying to get answered will be revealed. Doesn't matter if it's about love. Doesn't matter if it's about job. Doesn't really matter. It's like the person probably has a very pressing question and a timing question. And this will say what the truth is about how long it will take. Here's another four card with the judgment. Of course, the four were in a, in a rejuvenation respite period, but the judgment talks about opening, breakthrough, uh, getting ready to move into a whole new cycle, which should be very uh, expansive. So this is actually very positive. And the Eight of Pentacles next to the Hanged Man, this really says there's an opportunity imminent. And you really want to be ready to jump in. It's like the person's been building a lot with the Eight of Pentacles. And it's what's that old saying, preparation meets opportunity. Someone is going to be offered or something's going to happen. And you're going to want to hit the ground running on this one. Uh, Eight of Wands with the Lovers indicates there's pleasant communications with the person that you're interested in romantically. The nine of wands with the star is really hopeful because, of course, the nine of wands and the nine of swords were very worried. But the sun, or excuse me, the star, this is also a timing card. It says very soon things are going to click over and be significantly better. So when the nine of swords shows up with the star, it's usually within a few days, a few days tops, a week, uh, that something's going to turn over and be significantly better. The Ten of Cups with the world just talks about happiness in general. It can be love. It can be family. It can just be, uh, you know, it could be a wedding, but it could just happiness. You're just feeling great and accomplished. And here we have the Ten of Wands with the star. This is also a timing card of a sorts. It's more influential than the Nine of Swords with the sun. The Ten of Wands and the star says, immediately, imminently, you are going to have an answer and things are going to get better ASAP. Usually when you see this, it's one to two days. The 10 of pentacles with the world, this is money, money, success, career success, legal victory. Uh, it just, it really talks about being part of something that is successful on every level, level but, but especially financial. Uh, the Ace of Wands with the Devil. This talks about um, a misunderstanding that you're probably having with someone. It could be a lover, a friend, a family member, but it lets you know that the other person is really hurt. Whether you hurt them or they're just feeling badly about what they did to you, this lets you know that the person that you're in a kerfuffle with is not happy about it either. The Three of Cups with the Devil. This signifies a real new beginning and often in this in this uh combination you're starting over whether that means you're relocating and you're starting over in a new location or starting a new job or changing your career but it, it's a it's a complete 
rebirth, starting over. And the three of um, the three of cups really assures you that it's something you're in agreement to. The eight of wands with the devil really talks about expediency in affairs, but it, there's also a caution about, well, yeah, something interesting is coming. It could be romantic. It could be professional, but make sure, don't just rush ahead. Just make sure, double check um, that this is right for you. And the nine of pentacles with the emperor is typically a business opportunity and it's a good business opportunity. It's like, say, you know, you've been working a certain job for a certain period of time and all of a sudden you get offered another role which pays more money but the flip side is it's going to require more of you so it sort of says okay you have something coming but make sure that you're ready to sign on for all that's involved but it's a good financial opportunity and a good opportunity professionally and the nine of cups with the empress almost always refers to relationship and fertility and babies it really is it really talks about marriage ultimately that whatever your relationship this is this is a marriage of sorts and can have everything that marriage provides the four of pentacles with the moon talks a lot about be careful about signing contracts whatever you sign be very mindful of it because it can come back to bite you or the burdens could be heavy you can't really see all the nuance of what might come of it right now the Four of Wands with the Magician talks about being part of a creative venture. This is a really good card for people in the movie business or musicians or someone launching a business. It really talks, and the Magician always confirms that we're going in the right direction. Um, but the Four of Wands really gives it that harmony and that happiness that we want to see. So it's very positive for all things related to creative endeavors. This is also a combination that really signifies a new marriage. If I see this in someone's spread, they're getting married. Whether or not it's in a white dress and a tuxedo is not relevant. They are partnering with someone with the intention of being with them until. When you see the Six of Cups with the Moon, with the moon this talks about some unresolved feelings with someone from your past. Uh, that it's not it was it's not clear that there's still some residue still got to work through something and this person's probably going to be coming forward in some way or you're going to be seeking them out one or the other so that this can get resolved more fully now when you see the six of cups with the emperor it, this talks about unresolved feelings and situations with another person but it doesn't necessarily mean they're coming forward like it does with the moon it just says yeah you're struggling with some issues about the past same thing with the Empress. If you see this, there's some past things from the past that are really weighing on you. And with the Emperor and the Empress, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be family issues, could be health concerns, but it really talks about something about your past is really weighing on you. And this talks about a reunification with someone from your past, the Six of Cups and the Lovers. This talks about... Um, a love relationship, very likely, or a blossoming friendship, either with someone from your past or someone who feels very familiar to you. Six of, Six of Pentacles with the star. This has another time frame attachment. I mean, the Ten of Wands really has the most indicator of something's going to happen in a day or two. This is going to happen in a few days to a week, but it says you are in a new cycle very soon and it, and it will likely have money attached or professional opportunity, but you're going to be feeling great about it. The two of swords with the moon really indicates some type of health concern or crisis. And depending upon the other cards will tell you the sever severity of the health crisis or um, what their question is. Seven of uh, Cups with uh, the Wheel of Fortune really highlights the, the many choices that we're facing and trying to delineate and solve a lot of different opportunities that are before us. But it, it has a positive connotation, even though, you know, you might be completely overwhelmed by a number of things that you're going to come out on top. And the same thing with the Seven of uh, Cups with the world. You may be overwhelmed and unclear about the directions you should be going, 
but it, it indicates to keep moving forward with it, that that will become clear and the path will carve itself. Um, I know I left out a couple of cards there, like the two of wands with the emperor and empress talks about a new opportunity being imminent. Uh, but th I think this is most everything that comes up pretty regularly in most readings and most people's typical life concerns.